Hi everybody, thanks for joining me again. This is AJ. I'm going to cover how to import a data package and then delete it when you're done with it. On my last video, we went over how to build a data package. We used the camp incident from 2018 as an example. And now we'll use that same data package I built and import it into ATAC and show you how it it's displayed um, in the ATAC program. Now you need to get that data package onto your device. It doesn't matter where it comes from. It com could come from on a USB stick. It could get emailed to you. You could have brought it down from Google Drive. That's how I brought it. I, sh I pushed it up to Google Drive and then downloaded it on my device. You just got to get that data package stored locally on your device. Once it's in your downloads folder or anywhere on your device, but typically in your downloads folder, you're going to use the import manager to grab it. Upper right hand corner, hit the overflow menu, go to import manager, hit local SD. On the, to be sure you're in the right folder, go all the way to the left, click it looks like a little phone. Scroll down to your downloads folder, and now we're going to look for that camp incident data package. And there it is, CABTU camp 11, 12, 18. I'm going to put the little check mark and hit OK. Now it's going to ask me how to bring it in. We want to choose data package. Now ATAX bringing that in and unzipping it and putting all the files where they need to go. And you get a little prompt. The data package was added. Now to view that data package, we can go to overlay manager and then click on data packages. We can scroll down alphabetically, and there it is. CABTU camp. It says I have seven items in it. As I open it up, you can see all seven items. The first one is, with a little Google Earth icon, is the KMZ from the NIROPS flight. And then the, the ones with the little hashtags unbelief below it are um, all the GeoPDFs. The one that has the PDF icon is actually the IAP PDF. And so let's start with the IAP. I can click on the IAP and now it's going to open up in a PDF viewer on my device. I can hit the back button and go back to ATAC. If I click on the KMZ, it's going to zoom in and now I have all the data um, from um, the, R, the IR flight. As I zoom out, now I want to turn that element off and now I want to turn on the maps. We'll start with the ops map. Click the ops map and now I have my ops map. As you zoom in, give it a chance to render but it will clear up. It's processing a lot of data. And so within the data package section, the overlay manager, you re really is, you're able to filter on and off the data for your specific data package easily. If you ever are, if, if you um, ever get confused on where the data is, just open up overlay manager, hit, hit data package and find the, find the data package you need to work from. Mm -hmm. Now those maps also end up in the image overlay section. And so you can see I have a lot of maps in here. But if I just am concerned with the maps that are in this specific area, I can turn off this show all area. And now it's just going to filter the maps that are in the extent of the map view. And this is just the camp incident. All right, so now I'm done with this uh, operational period. And now I want to get rid of um, this data package. I can go open my data packages back up, find my camp incident data package, hit the trash can, remove contents, and now that data package is gone. So after my operational period is over, I can delete that data package and import the next data package. I hope this was helpful. If you have questions, put it in the, content, in the comments below. Thank you.